In this video, I will demonstrate how to solve a problem related to balancing a rotating mass on shaft. First, I will draw the displacement diagram, then I will create an angular diagram, then I will calculate the data in tabular form. Finally, I will construct the couple polygon and force polygon to find the magnitude and orientation of mass A. Let us start with displacement diagram. The problem statement provides the distance between four planes A, B, C, D as 600 mm each. I begin by drawing a horizontal line and marking plane A on left side. Next, I mark plane B positioned 600 mm to the right of plane A. I continue by marking plane C 600 mm to the right of plane B. And finally, I mark plane D which is 600 mm to the right of plane C. From this diagram, I can see that the order of the planes are A, B, C, D. Next, I would like to create angular diagram. Unfortunately, the problem statement does not provide any angle values between plane. So I am unable to draw angular diagram. Instead, I will take plane B as a horizontal plane since plane A has unknown value and cannot be used as reference. Now I will proceed to table to calculate force and couple values. From the displacement diagram, I have already determined the order of the planes as A, B, C and D, which I will mark in column 1 of table. I can find the mass and radius values from the problem statement. The masses are mb equal to 10 kg, mc equal to 5 kg, md equal to 4 kg and ma is unknown value. The radius of rotating shafts are ra equal to 0.1 meter, rb equal to 0.125 meter, rc equal to 0.2 meter and rd equal to 0.15 meter. I will mark these values in table. In the next column, we calculate the centrifugal force which is the product of mass and radius. Therefore, ma multiplied by 0.1 equal to 0.1 ma, 10 multiplied by 0.125 equal to 1.25, 5 multiplied by 0.2 equal to 1.0, 4 multiplied by 0.15 equal to 0.6. The next column is for the distance of each plane from the reference plane. I need to choose a reference plane such that all the values in the couple polygons are known. Since none of the angles are provided in the problem, to ensure all the couple values are known, I will choose plane A as the reference plane. Therefore, the distance of plane A from reference plane A is 0. The distance of plane B from reference plane A is 0.6 meter. The distance of plane C from reference plane A is 1.2 meter. The distance of plane D from reference plane A is 1.8 meter. Next, I am going to find couple which is a multiplication of force and distance. 0.1 ma multiplied by 0 equal to 0. 1.25 multiplied by 0.6 equal to 0.75. 1 multiplied by 1.2 equal to 1.2.6 multiplied by 1.8 equal to 1.08. From the table, all the values of couple polygon is known, whereas one value is unknown in force polygon. So I am going to draw couple polygon first. Draw a horizontal line of length 3 cm and mark it as OB. Assume 0.75 kg meter squared has 3 cm. I can't draw 1.08 meter on A4 sheet, so I am using scale factor. The scale factor says 0.75 kg meter squared equal to 3 cm. From that, 1 cm equal to 0.75 over 3 equal to 0.25 kg meter squared. 1 kg meter squared equal to 4 cm. From table, B equal to 1.08. So, draw an arc of radius 1.08 kg meter square from point B. 
1.08 kg meter square equal to 1.08 with scale factor of 4 equal to 4.32 cm. So I am going to draw an arc of 4.32 cm from point B. Again from table C equal to 1.2. Draw an another arc of radius 1.2 kg meter square from point O. 1.2 kg meter square equal to 1.2 with multiplication of scale factor 4 equal to 4.8 cm. So I am going to draw an another arc of 4.8 cm from point P. Now both are cut at a point C. Now connect the point OC and BC. This is couple polygon. Now I can use couple polygon to complete the angle diagram. Move line OC from couple polygon to angular position. This is angular position of mass B. Measure BOD, it will give you 100 degree. Then move line BC from couple polygon to angular position. This is the angular position of mass C. Measure BOC, it will give you 240 degree. Next, force polygon. Draw a horizontal line of length 5 cm and mark it as OB. Assume 1.2 kg meter from table as 5 cm. I can't draw 1.2 kg cm on A4 sheet, so I am using the scale factor. The scale factor says 1.2 kg meter equal to 5 cm. From that, 1 cm equal to 1.25 over 5 that is equal to 0.25 kg meter. Then 1 kg meter equal to 4 cm. Move line OC from displacement diagram to force polygon. The length of the line OC from the table is 1 kg meter. I can take 1 kg meter as 4 cm from the scale factor. Move line OD from displacement diagram to force polygon. The length of the line OD from the table is 0.6 kg meter. I can take 0.6 kg meter as 4 multiplied by 0.6 equal to 2.4 cm. Connect DO in force polygon diagram which is the direction of mass A. Now move the dotted line to angular diagram and mark it as A. Measure BOA and it is equal to 155 degree. The length of the dotted line in the force polygon is 2.8 cm which is equal to 0.1 ma in table. So 0.1 ma equal to 2.8 cm again 1 cm equal to 0.25 kg meter square. So I can multiply 2.8 with 0.25 I will get 0.1 MA equal to 0.7 kg from that MA equal to 7 kg. Finally, I calculated the mass of plane A as 7 kg. The orientation of mass A is 155 degree from plane B.